Hi guys! So I'm doing a series of videos today because I had so much to talk to you about after being sick for a week. Um, I have plans to do my haul videos on Sundays, so I picked up a lot of things in the last week and I'm kind of getting caught up on those right now. Um, so that's just kind of where I am now. Oh, also on Sundays when I do my hauls, I plan on, so that things don't uh, stack up. I have a tendency to just sort of throw things in a box and they stack up and I either can't use them or can't throw them away or can't return them or whatever. So on Sundays, as well as doing a whole video, I will also give you my either rant or rave. Um, I told you before, I don't really plan on doing reviews of things unless one, you ask for it. I will always do a review. Number two, I really, really, really think uh, something is a waste of money and I don't want you to waste your money. Or three, I think it's amazing and I think you should pick it up. Either it's um, amazing for the money or I think it's worth spending a little extra money to get it. So, <sighs> let's, uh, so let's just do that really quick. I have three little things here that are things that I do not like whatsoever and I don't like them to the point that I want to let you know about it. Um, the first thing is a Essence of Beauty brush. Now, I love Essence of Beauty brushes. Here is one of the crease duo brushes that Emily has talked about a lot. Um, I use those all the time. I have backups. I have no problem with that brand. I don't know what is up with this brush. This is the powder brush. It came with an eyeliner brush, which I have not found fault with yet, but this I did not even use with makeup. I just rubbed it on my face and um, Maybe you can see, maybe against my arm, you can see better. You can see that there's just, um, there's like bristles coming out and you do it. I mean, you might see bristles right now that are just falling, flying everywhere. And it is, I mean, there's one, there's a bunch. There's a bunch I just pulled out. This brush is no good. Um, don't buy it. That's all I have to say. I never used it on my face. I don't have to to know that it is just really... I, I'm not sure what's up with this brush. This is, you know, like I said, Essence of Beauty. Um, have a crease, br crease brush duo that is fantastic that I would definitely recommend. So that's one thing that I would say don't waste your money on. The other thing is um, maybe not something that I hate or whatever. I hate such a strong word. It shouldn't be reserved for things like makeup. <laughs> but this is the e.l.f. all over color stick in pink lemonade. I think this won an award in one of the magazines I read. And so I was intrigued enough to pick it up. Um, this may be like one of those Josie Marin Argon Oil sticks. Of course, this I'm not saying that this has Argon Oil in it. I'm not saying this has any health benefits whatsoever. I'm just saying it could be used possibly in the same way. I thought that it was going to be a type of possible, um, like the NARS um, multiples. Uh, I thought maybe I could use it as a highlight a little bit. I did think that it was a little dark, but at, because it's an e.l.f. product, I thought it would um, sheer out. So I'll just go ahead and show you. <laughs> it's very dark. I mean, it's super dark. That's pink lemonade. So this possibly, I mean, let's, I mean, yeah, you can blend it, but all over really all over what like i i don't i don't know maybe it's a prettier color now uh, i'm just i'm just not sure what this is for i guess i thought it would be more like like 
a sort of illuminating stick and it just did not turn out to be that whatsoever so if you're looking maybe this would be good on your lips um, I would rather not put it there so I'm not going to um, so that's just my experience with it if you were wondering you just saw the swatch I've wiped it off already and it wiped off um, very easily very so I don't see any staying power in that or anything so um okay the next thing you guys know I love me some wet and wild fast dry um nail polish oh it's been a long day I'm sorry and I'm still not 100% but I'm doing my best this is the wet and wild mega last nail color in bite the bullet I don't like this at all. Now, I think that Wet n Wild has another brand that I don't think I picked any up. I didn't pick any up. I think that they have either, I think that they redid this in a new bottle and possibly they changed the formula. I can remember not even getting through a whole manicure with this and being so unhappy that I just took it off and threw it in my um, box of things to tell you guys about. So um, those are the three things that have been sitting around forever that I wanted to let you guys know I would not spend my money on again. So that's it for the things that I have certainly found fault with. I hope that perhaps it saves you from spending money on something that you ended up not liking as well. And I hope that you guys have a great day and I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.